All right, so today I wanted to give you a summary about piecewise functions that's going to be on the test. You're going to encounter one of two scenarios. This scenario, I'm given a function and I have to graph it. What do I do? Versus this one, I'm given a graph and I have to write a function. What do I do? So on this first one, you're given a function. and you have to graph it. You need to think table of values. That's what you're going to do. First thing I always do is I draw in my divide line or my boundary line. So line 1, 2, 3, x equals negative 3. is the boundary line that's going to separate the two functions. This says you're going to have 2x plus 4 function if x is less than negative 3. So less than is on the left side of that. So on the left side I'm going to have that function. And then on the right side you have the function y equals 5. So I make my table of values. Whatever your divide line is, that's your first x value. And then it says go smaller than that, so 1 to the left would also be negative 4. So I'm going to plug those values in. 2 times negative 3 plus 4 is negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 and then plug negative 4 in. This negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. So now I have these uh, two points to plot. Start at the origin always. Go left 3 and down 2. I did make an open circle there because I noticed that that was a less than sign. And negative 4 Negative 4 goes right there. So I have a line going down to negative infinity. This other one is the line y equals 5. And so that is a horizontal line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it crosses the y-axis and it comes up to your boundary line and there's a bar under it so it equals it. So this is your line, your other function, y equals 5. Uh, you're going to need to state the domain and the range. So the domain goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. So you can plug any value in for x that you want to your range. So this range goes from negative infinity and then it stops right there at that y value which is negative 2. And then we're going to use this uh, union symbol because I have a gap there. So anytime you have a gap you need the union. And then I have another y value up there at 5. The second scenario is you're given a graph and you have to write a function. And in this case, think y equals mx plus b. So m is your slope. You're going to do your rise over your run. And then b is your y-intercept. So I have to write these two functions. So the first thing that I would do is see where the two points 
are stacked on top of each other and figure out where my divide line goes. So this top one happens when x is less than 2 and this function on the right happens when x is greater than or equal to 2. So that one has the closed circle, that one got the bar under it. So the one on the left, y equals mx plus b. Find your slope, so it's your rise over run. So pick any two points on the line. How I many do you have to go up and over? So that was just one, so one x. And then your b is your y-intercept. So that one's crossing the y-axis at 2. So the function on the left is 1x plus 2 when x is less than 2. And then on the right, repeat the process. y equals mx plus b. All right, so how many do I have to go up and over? So I have to go up 1 and over 2, so my slope is 1 half. So it doesn't cross the y-axis yet, but you just have to envision if it continued, so down 1, left 2, if it continued, it would hit at negative 3. So that's that y-intercept. So that's my second function. Domain is all real numbers, or we write it as negative infinity to infinity. You can plug in anything that you want. And then the range is your answers that you get out of it. So this one's going down to negative infinity, and we have an overlap here. I don't have a gap because um, I always have a function that's happening. And then this one would be going up to positive infinity, so this range would also be negative infinity to infinity. Hope this helps for the test.